This is the TikTok live course. And in this course, I'm going to share with you what I've used and what I've learned to grow my TikTok account and specifically how to use TikTok to grow your affiliate business with Chi Life Store or Chi Energy AI. So right now I'm focusing a lot of my time and a lot of my resources into growing my TikTok account and it's doing very well getting lots of followers, lots of views, lots of engagement. So if you want to build any kind of following, I think that TikTok is probably the best um, platform to do it. You get the most bang for your buck. You get the most return for your time investment. Reason is because if you start a YouTube channel or start a Facebook page or anything like that, those accounts are quite saturated or Instagram, they're quite saturated. It's hard to start a new one and to get more followers unless you already have uh, one that you've started a long time ago and you already have a lot of, uh, a big following. But for someone who wants to start from scratch with no followers, TikTok's probably the best way right now. The reason is because it's still a young and new platform and it's uh, very highly engaging. And there's not many businesses that have uh, really taken advantage of it. We've seen more in the last six months because they realize the potential, but there's still uh, not many businesses that are taking advantage of TikTok and the audience. So in this um, course, we're gonna go over a whole bunch of stuff. You're gonna get templates, you're gonna get scripts, you're gonna get uh, lots of um, guidance and tips and strategies on how to grow your account. So who this is for? It is for creators, it's for influencers, and it's for brands or e-commerce businesses, consulting coaches, or uh, local service-based businesses. So you can take what you learned today and you can apply it and use it and benefit any kind of business or, or uh, other platform or social media platform that you currently have. So even if you like do this affiliate program, actually use the tips and the training from this course to amplify any other business that you create. How the TikTok algorithm works, if you didn't know, is that it will take any video that's posted and test it with a small group of people. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna analyze what you use as hashtags. Uh, it's gonna Transcri transcribe what you're saying as words and use that as the um, words that are in the video as the metadata. And it's also going to take into account how many current followers you have. Um, so it'll give more weight to your uh, videos if you have more followers, but it's not that much. It doesn't give that much weight to it. Uh, and then what happens is in phase two, it's going to look for people with a similar profile and then send it to them. And then after uh, that, it's gonna send it to a even wider audience. So what it does is it uses something like this. So it's gonna send the video to the first 300 people and test it and see how engaged it's gonna be, how many people are gonna uh, comment on it or like it or engage or follow based on the first 300 people. So if it does well, if you get a good watch time, then what TikTok does is it's going to show it to 3,000 people and then it's going to test it with this group. And then after that, it's going to test it, uh, send it out to 30,000 and 300,000 and so on. So every video will go through this process with uh, TikTok, so, which is a good thing because it's going to rely less on uh, how many followers you have and it's going to rely mostly on how good the actual video is and how engaging and how much people watch it, which is how it's supposed to be. What you're gonna find is you're gonna have uh, videos that have, uh, like if you look at my account later, like some videos only have 100 views, and then some videos have like 700,000 views, and some videos have like 15,000 views. So what you want is you, to, you want to create so much content so that the chances of hitting that home run are gonna be higher. So it's all about quantity and quality. So if you're going to, if you want to grow virally, you have to get that home run. You got to get that like um, 100,000 view or a million view video. And it's actually easier than you think. A lot of times it's probably, it could be one of the easiest videos you ever made. 
but the key is to be consistent and keep testing new things and to keep um, making new new content and then keep tweaking it to make it better. Okay, so that's how it works. And what the algorithm wants is they want people to be entertained, educated, and inspired. So think in those three terms. Uh, there's a term that is uh, infotain inspiration. So that's what you want. You want to combine all those three things in your content. So whatever you're doing, see how you can make it entertaining and educating and inspirational all in the same video. So that's the goal. What the TikTok algorithm wants mostly is watch time and engagement. So how long they are watching your video for, how many, how many percent of the video is being watched and uh, engagement, which means like um, if they're liking it, commenting, sharing it, or following your account from after watching the video. Uh, post time is overrated. Some people say you need to post at a specific time of day. That doesn't really matter as much. But if you're going to have an ideal time, it would be somewhere between 9 to 11 a.m. in the morning or 2 to 6 p.m. Uh, and then there are tools I'm going to show you that can automate your posting so you don't actually have to do it at those times. You can actually do it all in one day and schedule everything at once uh, on with a software, which is a lot more um, convenient. So here are the mo what the most important metrics are. So this is what um, TikTok is going to look at. The average watch time, the full video percent watch time, shares, saves, follows, uh, like to view ratio, like to follow ratio, comments and share. So basically in that order. Okay, so the number one would be average watch time. How long are they watching that video? Like the average uh, you, uh, average viewer, how long are they watching the video? And then next is how many percentage of that video is being watched? What are the completion time goals? So based on how long the video is, this should be the benchmark for how long they should be watching. So you will be able to see this inside your TikTok accounts once uh, you get some views. So from zero to seven seconds, really short ones, you should expect 160%. So they're probably watching it 1.6 times, the average viewer. From eight to 15 seconds, they should be watching the whole video 100%. Uh, 16 to 30 seconds should be 75%. 31 to 60 seconds should be 50%. 60 to 120 seconds should be 40 percent two to three minutes should be 28 to 35 percent so that's your target so don't think that if you have a three minute video and you only get 28 percent of the people watching that's not that it's it's not a good view it actually is it's a really good video um if, if people are watching that much so we're going to go through some phases here so number one set your goals number two is research number three is uh create and then edit and publish so first of all, what are your goals, right? So you got to figure out before you start, what is your goal? What is your objective for building your TikTok channel? So um, with, here we're mainly going to be using it to promote um, your, your affiliate promotions, right? So which is your Qi coils or the frequencies or any products on Qi Life Store and Qi Energy AI. So that's what you're going to be promoting. Um, but if it's something else, you can also decide that you want to promote your own personal business. Let's say that you have your own um, clinic or you don't have your own service or you're, you're, you're a teacher or you have students or you have a coaching program um, that you want to promote. Well, if that is that, then you need to figure out if that's what you want to do as well. And you can figure out a strategy that can blend all the things that, you, in, that you're doing into one thing. Okay, so either you could be growing a business, selling a product, or do you want to build authority for yourself in, in the marketplace? You want to become an authority and a leader? Or do you want to become an influencer or a thought leader? You want to grow a brand? Are you wanting to share your message, your life purpose, your calling, or your passion? Are you wanting to amplify your art, your music, or something that you wrote, a book, or a course? So keep in mind, <clears throat> You want to think about what type of people do you want to reach with? Who's your ideal uh, viewer? Who's your ideal client? And based on that, okay, so they call it avatar, right? So figure out what the avatar is. What is the, you know, how, what's the age range? Like, are you, are you, um, 
selling um, uh, BTS like uh, t-shirts or something well then there's gonna be a younger audience right or are you talking about what we talking about which is meditation wellness and um, let's say um, like a peak performance which would be ideally between 35 and 45 and then uh, also 25 too so but mostly around 30 to 45 uh, are you is your message primarily geared towards uh, females or males or what kind of hobbies do they have what kind of jobs do they have so you need to identify who is your audience and what kind of people you want to reach okay uh, then research research is very important so what you want to do is search for creators search for hacks hashtags Search for hoax topics, ideas, and styles. So it's gonna, I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Search the top content in your niche. Search hashtags. Look for big opportunities. Check the like volume and drill down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go through this quickly. I'm just, and then I'm going to show you okay, how to do it. So search topic. Top results. Select the video. Genre hoax hashtags. Okay. So let's just go through this. So I'm on my TikTok account here. So what you do is you're going to first... Um, figure out the top five topics if you want some tips on the topics that you that would be uh, very compatible with what we're doing with she life we actually have some for you already we've done many surveys and over the years we've figured out that there are basically like top six or eight topics that people who buy she coils are interested in okay so the first is sleep and then there's a bunch of other ones so there's a uh, focus and clarity meditation spirituality recovery reg regeneration energy levels and stress dealing with stress and anxiety those are the top ones secondary ones are anti-aging recovery from sickness anxiety we just talked about so EMF protection pain fatigue motivation okay so some those are some topics that you can think about consider using as one of your main five topics now when you're looking at these topics you also want to think about who this um like which audience is interested in this topic um, sleep is basically everybody everybody's having sleep problems even young people young to old people focus and clarity everybody's having that problem most people are young and old. Meditation and spirituality um, is pretty wide range, but then probably people in their 30s, uh, uh, like uh, in the mid, mid range, would be more interested in meditation and spirituality. Uh, recovery and regen regeneration, mostly like in their 40s and 50s. Energy levels, mostly like in their 30s and above stress same thing so see each each uh, topic has a specific group of people that are more interested in that topic right so these are just um the main topics in uh chi life that basically uh well we get the most results and we get the best results with our chi coil technologies and all the technologies uh, for these uh, specific problems that people have we are very good at um solving these problems with our technologies very consistently so why not use these as your topics because that's what our technology does okay so let's go back to our phone screen here so let's say that you are doing research then you want to click on this search and let's say let's start with let's start with sleep okay so you type in sleep and then here on uh, automatically it's going to show you a bunch of um, search keywords sleep in 60 seconds sleep relaxing sleep tips sleep meditation sleep hacks sleep paralysis sleep hypnosis sleep walking so right now you can start building a list of ideas like sleep in 60 seconds sounds like um, pretty good It's number one on the list so let's click on that one and then we can see these are the top videos that have that in, in their um, description you see in the description there it's highlighting how to fall asleep in 60 seconds it's pretty small you might have to make your screen bigger to see it but the first 
there it says how to fall asleep in 60 seconds and then hashtag ASMR and hashtag sleep. So this one, and you see he's got 900,000 likes. So this is a very successful video. Um, and this is ASMR, so he's just making sounds with, with various things. Okay. okay, and so if this is something that interests you, you think this is a good video, then what you want to do is click on see more, and then you can see the other tags. So you see, you see ASMR, hashtag sleep, and then Nana, Nano's SMAR, that's her name, relaxing and for you page. Okay, so if you want to do something like that, then you could put that into your um, your sheets. Okay, I'm going to show you the sheet quickly here. Let's see, web screen. So um, what I do is there's a TikTok research sheet that you're going to get. So you can type in the user, you can put the video link here for reference, and then genre, style, hooks, hashtags, titles, subtitles. Okay, so let's just take that video and let's say we like that and we want to make something like that. Style would be ASMR. Montage is just a collection of clips, right? Hooks would be how to fall asleep in. 60 seconds actually that's probably better as a title call to action and see what it is how to fall asleep in 60 seconds. Let's go. okay see how to fall asleep in 60 seconds and she's whispering that so that is the hook and it's also the title and it's also in the description and the hashtags will be ASMR and sleep relaxing and then user is, um, you can write it down. But if you have, uh, you can do, you can open TikTok on your desktop so that you can copy it directly. Okay, so what you would do is you would scroll through, then you would drill down, right? So you would go and look at her profile and then you can see that she got 250,000 followers. Then you wanna scroll and see what her most viewed videos are. And look, she only has 10 videos and she already has 250,000. So you can see how easy it is to, you know, grow very quickly on, on TikTok. It's only 10 videos, you already have 257,000. So you can see um, like 2.4 million. You take a look at this one. So so the key thing, I think, the hook is that she's she's whispering. So the style or um, the hook itself is like the technique that she's using is whispering. So you can add that to the to the sheet. So I would see what other videos she has and then take a look at those hashtags. It's exactly the same hashtags. And then here it says follow my instructions as the as the tag. So here we go. You can add um, follow my instructions. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? This is how you do the research. After you've gone through a bunch of videos, you're going to have a whole list of the top videos, hashtags, ideas um, to work with. So look for big opportunities and check like like volume. Like right, the first one I saw right there, that's a huge opportunity because how do I know it's a big opportunity? Is because they only have 10 videos and they have 250,000 subscribers. So that means that she put in very little effort to get a huge return and get a huge result, which probably means there's not many people doing what she's doing, uh, or she's doing something that is um, not uh, that is um, unique. Uh, hashtags, we already showed you how to find them. Top content in your niche, so how to sleep in 10 seconds, a top content. Drilling down, so what I did is I go into each video and then find out what other hashtags are being used, what other techniques are being used, hooks and headlines are being used. So top results, which we, what we did, we did sleep and then we found the top results. When we selected a video, we found out what genre, style, hooks, or hashtags they're using. The next step, next wave of our research. So here I found ASMR and 
that's just the first video. So let's say we also want to scroll here and see what else is happening. So there's another person doing ASMR here. Uh, this one's all AS, also ASMR. So I guess that's a pretty popular thing, right? Here's another one, 500,000. Rest your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Breathe in for four seconds and hold it for seven. Then exhale while making a whoosh sound for eight seconds. This is another style, right? This is more of a um, montage and instructions and a step-by-step -step process. So I think there's five steps here. And you can notice how the, he uh, writes the steps directly on the screen, which is good, which is important because what TikTok will do is they will take the text from those text that he added. Uh, and this is not text he added. I don't think it's text he's added on the on um, uh, iMovie or something. It, it's, this is text that you can add directly on with the TikTok app. Just one. Yes. Repeat this four to eight times. This makes me feel incredibly relaxed. I spent a week of my life doing the four, seven, eight. So this is pretty short. Um, so. Like if I was gonna add this into my sheet, I would once again add the user, the genre, which is a instructional or tips video with a montage or basically with clips showing the person how to do each of the techniques. And then the hooks are, there's a lot of hooks going on actually. Uh, the hooks is uh, on this one would be- Your mouth, breathe in for- I tried the four, seven, eight sleep method. Here's what happened. So that's the hook. You see that? So that's the description section. So if you're doing more research, you should be writing down these hooks. I tried the four, six, eight sleep method. Here's what happened. So uh, it builds curiosity and it gets people to uh, engage with the video. Okay, that's what call to actions are. So based on this idea, you can say, I tried the Qi Coil meditation method. Here's more, here's what happened. Or I tried the Qi Energy AI um, broadcast and here's what happened. So it makes people curious about what happened. And then that's what the video could be about. Hashtags, favorites, other videos under hashtags, users, profiles, other videos that popped, genre, style, hooks, and hashtags. Okay, so if you're looking for hashtags, pretty same, similar process. I'm just going to look, go back to the search here and then I'm going to search as they sleep again. And then we click sleep. You see here, it says top, it says users, videos, and on the end it says hashtags. Okay. So here you can uh, write down any hashtags that are related to your topic. And what you want to do is you want to have about eight hashtags, eight to 10 hashtags. And I'm going to show you how to choose them. You're probably wondering, there's so many, which one do I choose, right? So this is where you go find hashtags. You can click on hashtags. Then you look at which videos are ranking the highest for those hashtags. And you can drill down and then do more research into these videos themselves. And once again, you go Look at the users. There's actually a million. And then look at his videos. Okay. And then do some more research into this guy's account. If it's, that, if it's something that catches, Military. catches your eye. And also users. So here we can search by users. Look at this one here. Look at the big follower numbers here. Uh, 4.5 million. That's a lot. I think these are mainly dance videos or music videos. So let's take a look at uh, this one. Yeah, so it's a dance video. So if there's something that you want to do, you want to do dance videos, then you can copy that. But if you don't want to do dance videos, look for something else. So let's take a look at that. This one looks like ASMR. Again, this one, I don't know what this one is. I barely post anymore, so probably a dead account. Some graphics or some video games. Uh, this one's live right now. So also ASMR, so that's pretty popular. 
Then go down and scroll down see if you find something else. Sleepy fur balls. Okay, this is a pet channel, 1.9. So let's take a look at this one here. Hi, I'm Inka, and I've been a professional voiceover artist and announcer my entire life. And I want to... Okay, so this is more like a... Um, just a vlog. Okay, it's called Sleeping Pill Podcaster. So I'm not sure... It's actually about sleep. I'm not sure. Okay, so you get the idea, right? So you're going through the users, you're going to visit videos. You can even go through sounds and see which sounds are the most popular. You're researching hashtags and all the while you are writing down and recording on your research sheet all, all the stuff that stood out to you. So you're looking for opportunities and opportunities are people who have obviously very viral videos, but not that many videos or videos that are very easy to make without too much effort or hashtags or some kind of style that's unique that makes their videos different than other people. Okay, so you would write them all in here uh, for your research. Other tips are to add lots of favorite hashtags and send yourself plenty of video URLs. So like there's no shortcut to doing the research. You just have to go and scroll through and actually watch the videos. And then you as a viewer would know whether it's engaging or not and whether it's related to your topic or whether it's something that you think that you can do yourself. You gotta, you gotta be able to look at the video and, say, and see that you can do it yourself um, with the limited equipment that you have. Okay, so you find out what video is actually realistic for you to do. Okay, remember that it's important to have a lot of quantity. When you look at a video, make sure that you know that you can make it quickly. Okay, so um, video types basically is the most popular styles or is based on how long the, the video is. The 15 second, 60 second, three minute, and now there's a 10 minute video limit. So each style or each length has a different kind of style that would go with it. And that's really for you to research. For example, a 10 minute one will probably be more talking and more explaining whereas a 15 second one will be more just like in your face and just lots of uh, uh, transitions to keep your engagement um, and then a 60 second one could be something in between but the key is simple is better uh, simple videos give a tactical value or tell a story work so well and build more followers instead of one hit wonder videos that go viral and don't create a loyal following and it's hard to repeat like for example you can make a dance video and get a lot of views but then um, those followers would only be interested in watching you dance so you have to figure out like what content you're putting out there is is it's um, content that would attract the followers to you for the right purpose like are they following you because they want to learn more about sleep are they following you because they want to um, learn more about what you're talking about or just because you have something that's funny or something that's viral so don't go for just a one hit wonder think about the strategy of uh, what kind of followers and what you want them to follow you for so here's some ideas for video types and genres so the easiest ones to do are valuable tips tutorials educate and demonstrate okay so you can make five tips on how to sleep better or five tips to sleep in 10 or in 60 seconds uh, you can make a story to inspire inform entertain advocate or create awareness it can be an inspirational quote you can just even just speak a quote and make it a 15 second video on uh, a quote that's inspirational uh, funny or entertaining raw random thoughts rants trending content or current events so those are different kinds of uh, videos that you can make different genres video styles face to the camera narrative voiceover which means you have some clips playing but then you're doing a voiceover over the clips it could be a hybrid uh, which means you are doing a third party content so you are doing a stitch which means you're making a video reaction uh, based on somebody else's video uh, you can be recording the screen while you're uh, browsing a website or watching another video uh, it could be a one person, two characters. It could be a cover song. A video hook would be 
an aha moment, and you're informing of a new idea of a practical value, or you're debunking a common belief, or you're creating some kind of mystery or curiosity, uh, some kind of unexpected pattern interrupt, demonstrating something, something emotional, something uh, thing about credibility, authority, or a pain or a problem. It could be a challenge or frustration, benefit or desire, symbolic thought, metaphors, analogies, powerful statistics, engagement, CTA. So <clears throat> those are just a lot of ideas that you can use. Uh, next is editing. So that basically you can edit yourself. If you have an Apple a MacBook, then you can just edit the video yourself with iMovie, it's pretty simple. Or you can go to Fiverr and get it edited professionally. Um, they, you can get a pretty low cost, maybe for $10 and get something edited or $5 or something like that. Or you can get maybe your nephew or niece to edit it for you. So we have an editing team and they do our edits, but you can also do it yourself. Uh, then publish. So publish and grow your account. All right, so that's the basic uh, five-step process. Now we can drill down more into, you know, uh, what to do when you're actually publishing. So hacking hashtags. Uh, well, first here is like the structure or how you're gonna uh, design your video. Okay, so there's a curiosity hook you see here, 10 biggest business mistakes. Uh, you use the app to actually add that in. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, you can make a different color. You can add a bonus hashtag. Uh, you can. This is your text line, your main, main um, headline. You can say, and then you have your engagement CTA. So you write it in the description here. Be the f best version of you. Follow for more. So that's the CTA call to action. That's what it means. So we want them to follow for more. So we add that into here, and then there's ha hashtags in there. Uh, remember, I said you want about eight to 10 hashtags. So when you're picking your hashtags, you want to pick uh, two of each. So two in each category. You want two that's over 300 million views. You want another two that's about 30 to 300 million. You want another two that's about 300,000 to 30 million. And then two that's about 30,000 to 300. And then two that's micro. So this is probably just your account name or maybe just Chicoil. Use hashtags to optimize for each individual video, not to attract specific types of followers. Okay, so each video, make sure that you use individual hashtags that's specific to that video. Okay, so for example, if you're doing a sleep video on um, how to sleep from jet lag, right? Then your, your hashtag shouldn't be sleep faster or sleep sounds or something like that. It's got nothing to do with it because you're giving tips on how to sleep uh, from jet lag, right? So jet lag should be your hashtag or jet lag sleep, sleep after jet lag, something like that. Okay, so it's gotta be more specific to that video itself and uh, not so general uh, as a, to attract the type of followers. I've actually created a video building tool for you. I'm gonna give you this link later. And what it looks like is this, and you're gonna get this later. So here's the video genres video genre ideas, video style ideas, hook elements. And I've also given you a bunch of hooks that you can use. So here's a bunch of hook scripts. There's about 20 of them that are very useful. And hooks are very important because the first three seconds of the video are what's going to engage the person. If they don't, if you don't get their attention, you don't hook them in the first three seconds, they're not gonna watch the rest of the video. So some examples are, the best thing I've ever done or the best whatever I've ever done or X things I wish I knew earlier, like 10 things I knew, wish I knew earlier about sleep or five things I wish I knew earlier. You need this free tool for sleep, right? Top five um, resources I use to sleep, whatever. Uh, how I got um, whatever in X time example 24 hours so how I fell asleep in three seconds or something like that okay so we've got a lot of very useful hooks so you don't have to come up with any of yourself um, you can just copy these directly and use them as hooks in your videos so what you do with hooks is you 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 want to say this first in your video this is the first thing they hear and it's like right in the in the beginning and you also want to add this as 
the text on your screen and also as the description, okay, as the hook. I've also uh, written here some scripts that you can you can use um, specifically for our products. Okay, there's about ten scripts here that you can use. So you don't have to read it word for word. These are just going to give you some ideas. So for example, here it says, "All right, I've been buying Chico's for over a year now." Uh, so I can give you a proper and honest review. So I'm currently inside of his Facebook group, which is basically a community of energy and truth seekers as to what they call themselves. If it wasn't because of the group, I would have not known about Chico's. I would not have made this TikTok. Okay, so it's basically a script that you could use or tweak um, for use uh, on your actual video. Here's another column with ideas. Um, my odd healthy dessert recipe, my favorite meditation routine, what apps I'm using the most, best wellness tips I've ever tested, what's in my bag, my must-haves, my weird relaxation technique. So it's so just a bunch of ideas that you can start brainstorming with. And then on here, when you copy this uh, Trello, you can make your own Trello board and you, here you can actually put your own video ideas and start tracking your progress. So you can make another column on the right so here's like you can make current video ideas so i would make another column i'll add this for you later it'll just say uh videos in production and then videos editing and then videos uh, uh released so you have other columns so you can track uh which videos you've done and which ones videos you have in your in your in your flow okay so all that's available i'll give this to you later so you can use that and speed up your progress. So some people ask, what kind of equipment do you need? Uh, some essentials is, uh, well, you need a um, smartphone, but other than that, I would get a tripod with a ring light. If you don't have one, this is very useful. So any kind of tripod like this that comes with a ring light and that can hold your phone, uh, make sure you can hold your phone vertically because um, because we're using in TikTok, so make sure that the the uh, the the tripod or the phone holder can turn this vertically. So tripod, ring light, um, back camera mirror you might need too. Now some people say, should I use the back camera on the phone or should I use the front camera? Well, on the back camera you're gonna get more quality, which is good. Uh, the front camera is just easier to use, but in order to use the back camera, you have to see yourself, right? So what you can get is to get this mirror so that you can use the ca uh, back camera and see the screen on the mirror uh, so that you get higher quality videos with your back camera. So that's just an idea uh, that I recommend. Uh, how I do it is actually I use software at OBS Studio so that, I'm look so that I can see my phone screen on my computer while I'm recording it. So it's a little bit more complicated. This is the easy way to do it. You just get a mirror that attaches to your, uh, to the stand. And a mic, uh, depending on how much noise and how, what kind of camera you have, you may not need a mic. I mean, depending on what kind of phone you have, some phones have good mic, but you have to test it out. Sometimes your phone, might, uh, your voice might be too thin if your phone's mic is not good. So in that case, just get one of these lavalier mics and just connect it to your phone jack. And some of these are Bluetooth. You can use those too. Uh, or these are, uh, have a mini jack that connects to your phone. Okay, so that, that's what I would use as essential equipment that you need to make videos with. Okay, TikTok growth myths. So video length, trending content, posting frequency, posting times, and hashtags a shorter or longer video um, people say that 15 seconds is the ideal length well probably in general but for the content that you're making I would say 30 seconds to a minute would would be a good length because you if you're doing education if you need to tr teach something or give tips it's gonna be longer. So basically the proper video length is whatever you need to do what you wanna do. So if you wanna talk about five tips, then you're gonna need at least one minute to talk about five tips, right? So don't get caught too caught up on 
into um, making it very, very short. Trending content. Um, you need to find out which content actually works for you. So not all trending content is um, applicable to what you want to do. Um, but if you can hack and figure out how to follow the trends, then, then that's great. But don't get caught up with the trend and then make that distract you from what your strategy is. Uh, posting frequency. Uh, what, what we're seeing now is the more you post, the, the faster um, TikTok will promote your videos because they know that you're active and you're, you're working hard creating more content. So they will actually reward you if you post more often. Posting times we already talked about doesn't really matter, but ideally nine o'clock or about three o'clock. Hashtags we just talked about. Uh, some other myths are TikTok is just for Gen Z. It's not true. Uh, we can see in the demographics that is actually quite evenly distributed between all age groups now. Uh, you have to hot, be hot to be successful. You don't. Uh, you'll get your first 1,000 followers in X weeks. No, um, that really de depends. You can get the... The key, is, like I said, is to make a lot of them so that the chances for, for one of them to go viral will be higher. Your first few videos determine your page success. That's not true. TikTok shadow ban me. Uh, they, that may happen if you post something that is in violation of their policies, but you just need to be careful and then you'll be fine. Joining the creative fund will decrease your views. Don't worry about that. Another thing you can do is you find people who are already influential on TikTok and then you can make videos based on their videos. So. You can do a stitch or you can do some kind of response or some kind of duet with them. And if you, I don't have time to show you exactly how to do those, but it's basically you are doing a reaction to their videos. Okay, so here what I've done is I've created a seven day quick start plan. Okay, so on day one, you're opening your account, choosing your name, playlist. Day two, picking your five topics. Day three, doing research. Day four, doing more research. Day five, you're shooting the videos. Day six, you're editing the videos and then getting your headlines and headings and descriptions ready. And then day seven, you are uploading it. Okay, so there is a um, service called Hootsuite. It is, uh, it is, I think, $50 a month. But what you can do with Hootsuite, so this is new before um, you weren't able to do this, but now you can use something called Hootsuite. And what it does, is, is a social media manager and you can get a free trial. And what it does is you can post your TikTok video onto Hootsuite and then schedule it to post it uh, anytime you want. So basically you pre-scheduling your TikToks. I think you can do it up to a week in advance, uh, but that's not all it does. What it does is it actually can post your TikTok video to the other social accounts, such as Instagram, Facebook, uh, I think Twitter as well, and Pinterest, which is pretty useful because now if you make one content or one video, now you can post it to like five different places with, uh, and you can automate that in one place, uh, which would be very useful for you because now instead of manually having to post into all these other accounts, you can just do it in one place and manage everything in, in uh, automate everything in one place. So that could be something that you might consider doing if you are going to, uh, and it makes sense because you already made the video, you might as well post it to all these other platforms and you never know. Sometimes you might even get more views on Twitter or more views on Instagram for the video than TikTok or vice versa. Um, so you never know. And then now you can grow multiple um, platforms with um, the same effort without having to do like five things. You just do one thing. Okay, so that's what you would do. Uh, how I do it is I would research a bunch of uh, competitor videos. I actually uh, have a team that does this for me, but basically I've trained them using basically what I'm teaching you. Um, you know, I have somebody to do all these features for me to find out all the uh, users, genres and styles. And then they tell me 
what they've come up with. And then I make the video, I shoot the video on, on one day. I spend probably two to three hours shooting videos on one day. So pick a day of the week that you want to dedicate for shooting videos. Um, preferably whenever you have time without distractions. So you can focus and shoot a bunch of videos. And then on the next day, you can get them edited where you add all the sub headlines, headlines and descriptions, and then upload it to Hootsuite on day seven. So the goal is to do, um, well, the goal, if you, you can do it, is to do three to five posts per day. And you, that sounds like a lot, uh, but you can definitely do at least one post a day. And you're probably wondering, how can I make that many videos? Well, there's a little trick that you can do. And the trick is, is to pick five topics, then make long versions of those topics. So if you're making a video, make a long version of it. Uh, you know, talk about a certain topic for three to 10 minutes. Okay, so it could be like top 10 ways to improve your sleep. And that would last for three to 10 minutes. So that's a long form. Now from that video, you can edit it and make, let's say a shortened version of it. That's only three minutes. Then you can make another shorter version of it. That's only one minute. Then you can just maybe pick the top three, um, you know, tips that you have on the video and make just a 30 second version. Or you can just, now you can take all those top tips and then separate each tip as a separate video, 15 seconds each or six seconds each. And now you have another 10 videos because you, you talked about 10 tips. But the cool thing is that you only sh shot it once, right? You shot this video once, or you just have one main long video and they just chop it up into many sm smaller pieces. So now your one piece of content becomes 15 pieces of content. You guys following? So, and that's just one, one topic. Let's say sleep is one topic. And then the next topic is, uh, let's say it is um, <clears throat> focus, how to gain focus, mental focus, right? Then you can do the same thing. And then you see what happens. So let's say in one day you filmed five videos, three to 10 minutes each uh, on five topics, right? And for each video, you can chop it up into 10 videos. So really, by filming five videos, you made 50 videos because you can chop them up into smaller pieces. Okay. So it's not, it's actually quite a lot easier to make a lot of videos. So on one day you can potentially make 50 videos. You just need to edit them, but you potentially made 50 videos in one day. So that's how you do it. And then once you start posting them on, onto your account, um, so you got to post them. I would post them regularly. So let's say you made seven videos that week. Well, then you would post it once a day, right? But if you, if you made um, 14 videos, then you would post twice a day and so on. So you want to spread them out evenly across the week because um, TikTok tends to like to see the consistency. So it, you, that, you would use Hootsuite to upload all of them Let's say you have 14 videos, you will upload all of them onto Hootsuite and then you would schedule them for that week, for that following week, um, according to the day and the time of the day that you want them to be released. And the good thing is you can add the hashtags, you can add the descriptions and the call outs and everything directly into Hootsuite. Okay, so after let's say a couple of weeks or so, you're gonna start seeing which videos are doing better than other others. So at that point, you're going to evaluate yourself and see um, which topic, which style, which technique, which hook had the most response for you. And what you'll do is is um, create more like it and then start to making subtopics. If it's a topic like, let's say, sleep got you a lot of engagement and it got you the most interest, there's a lot of really good comments or people asking questions in the comments, then what you can do is you can answer the, the comments and then create create videos by answering the questions that uh, people ask in the comments. And that's a really good thing to do because now you are engaging with your audience and TikTok actually sees that and will reward you for, for that as well. Okay, like I said, um, pick one day of the week and shoot 
a bunch of them. How many you think you can do? I would shoot at least seven to 20 videos. Uh, I don't mean seven to, seven to 20 like individual videos. This could be maybe two long videos like that are like uh, 10 minutes each. And then you can split it up into seven or 20 videos. Okay, so you can pick one day to do that. Um, so you're probably wondering how am I going to set up? So how, now that I know how to make the videos, how do I monetize? So that's the key, right? So how do I monetize my TikTok uh, channel? Now that I have all these followers, now I have all these views. Well, you need to have something. You need to have um, set up your profile properly. Let me show you how to do that. Get to my screen here. Okay, so here's my account, and can't really. There's no arrow on here. I can't point to it. But um, what you want here is you have basically one to three lines here in the middle that de describe who you are. So here I put health technology founder, peak performance coach, mentor, and martial artist. So this is what makes uh, gives you credibility. This gives you the authority. And this gives you um, your identity. Okay, and you can add some icons here, emojis to make it more interesting. So if there's something that you've, um, let's say that you uh, won an award or you have some kind of a special thing that makes you stand out uh, compared to other people, I would put it here. Okay, here you have a link. Now, I don't think, uh, if you start a new account, you won't be able to add this link here and, until you have 1,000 followers. But if you don't have it, it's still fine. Don't worry about it. Q&A is um, right now actually testing it. And what I've done with Q&A is I made my own questions and then I answer my own questions with the videos. So these are all questions that people have been asking about cheat coils. And then I made videos on the answer of those questions. And then I added here. Okay, but you, uh, this is another thing you can do. Okay. But the, you can also add your Instagram here. And um, because when people contact you, they usually actually contact you through Instagram direct, direct message. Okay, the important part is how to monetize. Okay, we got this link here, but if you don't have the link, what you can do is you can use something called playlists. So you see this plus here. You can create a playlist and instead of making the playlist name just like sleep videos or something like that, what you do is you make this the call to action. So here you go. You can use code, let's say John 10 on shelifestore.com. So once you create that playlist, you can select the video and now when someone- Who can wants, make money oh, with key coils? We have a program for that. And so now you see at the bottom, it says playlist, use code John 10, right? So if that's your code, you can use the code. Um, let, I got to figure out how to, uh, so if you want to put the URL somewhere else, then you would put it in the description you see here. So you put the uh, description chilifestore.com or use John use code John 10 on chilifestore.com. So so that when people click on the description on your video, um, they would know where to go. And you would also say it in the video itself. So you would say at the end, after your content, you say, if you want to learn more, go to chilifestar.com and use the code John10 or something like that, or whatever your code is, okay? If you don't know where to go get your code, let me just show you that since we're talking about that. So you would go to your affiliate affiliate uh, page. Okay. If you go to affiliates.shelifestore.com, that's how you log into your affiliate account. Affiliates.shelifestore.com. And your affiliate code is here, right? Coupon code. So you can change your coupon code. <clears throat> Here you can change it to something like Inga 10 or Ashita 10 or Robert 10 or Patrick 10, whatever it is. And then you can tell people on the on your video to go to that or use that code. Because sometimes it's better because your referral code, your referral 
link is kind of complicated. Um, or it'll be, it's difficult to tell people to go to chilightstore.com like slash question mark ref equals and then give them you know that's that's too long right um so if you're going to use this link i would just pay copy the link and put it as your profile link but until you have 100 uh until you have a thousand followers you won't be able to put that link there so what you can do is actually put it as a comment on your video okay or you can shorten this link <clears throat> so you can use um, something like bit.ly or tinyurl.com and shorten this link so it'll be like tinyurl.com and then John Doe or something like that so that it's easier for them to type in um, but I think the best way is to just get a really short coupon code and just tell people to go to the website and use that coupon code. And when they get use the code, they get 10% off and then our affiliate system will track that that's actually referred by you. That's what most people do. It's just the easiest way to do and people don't have to worry about the links that much. Okay, so this is where you get your links and your code. Um, CTA, all right, so CTA uh, call to action. Once again, there's a few ways of doing it. So the first way is to add it as the link here. Here I put use the chi. But if you don't have a thousand followers and you don't have the link, you can add <clears throat> uh, add it here. So you see here I made a playlist, use code John10. And what you can do is uh, actually add another playlist on chi live store.com uh, okay I did it backwards <clears throat> so you see what, what it shows here now it shows on chilifestore.com and it says use code John 10 so I did it backwards so you gotta I'm gonna get rid of it. who can make money with key coils we have a program for that and it's called okay so you put on chilifestore.com first then you add another playlist that says use code you can put discount so you're gonna put discount in here yeah I can put discount code next so I'm gonna add any video as a play, on the playlist. It is a question about. Okay, see now what happens. Use discount now. It shows use discount code John Ten on chilistar.com. So it's separated into two playlists, but at least when they look at it, they can figure it out. Okay, use discount code John Ten on chilistar.com. You see how that works? So that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is actually add it in the. Um, so let's say I'm gonna upload a video. Let's say I'm going to create a video right now. Access. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna upload this video. All right, so this is the. All right, so this is the V2 version two. So I don't know what size that is. Version two, and if it's fine. Okay, so just to give you an example, what you can do is, uh, first you add the text. Is the text up here? So this is will be a hook. Like this is a hook. And then you would click this button here on the left, the A button, and then you can change the different color. And let's say yellow looks good or green, blue. Let's do let's do white. This is a hook. So this is where you good the hook is. And then you put it up here. And you also set the duration. So you don't want it to show through the whole thing, so you Make it show up for let's say the first five seconds or only. So after that, it's going to disappear. All right. So there's lots of different things you can do. I'm just going to keep it simple right now. You can do enhance, enhance. Okay, and then you go next. Okay. So here you describe your video. So this is where you put your your um, call to action. So here you can put a curiosity hook, which is like, um, or you can put your call to action. So it would be like uh, use code John 10 on G Life Store. And what I do is actually I put, don't put the dot because I've, I heard that if you put a dot, people don't like, 
or TikTok doesn't like that you're putting a, another web address on there. So I just just do tlightstore store space com. So TikTok doesn't think that it's something that's going to make somebody leave TikTok because they want people to stay on TikTok. Okay. Uh, so that could be the call to action, right? And then here you would have uh, hashtags and so on. So you can click hashtags and then you can put all the hashtags that you have sleep, right? Meditation, whatever it is. Okay. Okay. And another important thing is to select the cover. So when you select a cover, you want to find the most interesting part of it. That's going to get the most attention. So let's say, I don't know, none of this is, I didn't really intend this to be a video, but um, let's say this one looks kind of interesting. And then you want to add also a headline. So you go, this is a headline. And then you would add some emojis or whatever, make it more interesting. And then you put it here or you can put it up here, up to you. Probably don't want to cover up the important part of the video. So you can select different designs, but find one that you use and try to stick with that one throughout your whole account. You don't want to use too many different ones because then it's going to make it look messy. So find one that you like, like for example, this one matches the, uh, this uh, thing, but my account uses this theme. So let me save it like that. And then, and then you post it. I'm not going to post it, but then you can automatically share to Facebook. You don't need to do that. Uh, I would add it to a playlist. So I'm going to add it to this playlist and then you would post. Okay. But normally I would add in eight to 10 different hashtags here. All right. Okay. So that's how I do call to action. Uh, another important thing that you need to learn. Next important thing that we talk about is the three pinned videos here in the middle. So how I do it is I make the most popular video and one video that tells people why they should follow your account. And then one video that is talking about the product that you're promoting. Okay, so that's what I would do for the pinned videos. And the pinned video is very simple. You just go and click any of these videos. You click the, the three buttons and then you click on this pin in the middle. And then that would create it into pin. But I can only pin three videos, so it won't allow me to do that. So the top, the, the videos you would pick for, for the pins is your most popular videos or the video that you want to drive your views to. Um, but, and then at least one of them should be a video that specifically about you introduces yourself and about why they should follow you. And then one of the videos should also be about what you are promoting. So it could be about the cheat codes and that that's the one where you specifically would want to share your discount codes. And then the third one could be probably just your top, top viewed video. So that's how you would organize your uh, pin videos. Make sense? Okay, um, we also have a Discord community, if you are not aware. And to get to here, it's actually in the bottom of the Chi Life store. You can go to Discord community and that's going to get you into uh, this pace. And we have an affiliate section here. So if you have any questions and you want to discuss any affiliate issues, uh, I'm on here quite often, so you can just post your question here uh, if you have anything about affiliates. So actually, you can use this for everything that's related to what we're doing. So general, G Life Storage, Energy AI, Health, Wealth, Meditation, Martial Arts, Inner Circle. This is where we all hang out and we also make announcements and so on and so post our latest posts here as well and support. So if you're not on this Discord, make sure you get on here. Uh, there's an app for it too, so you can get notification whenever there's something new that's come up here. I, I like this better than Facebook because of these channels. 
um, each channel or each thread has um, can be more specific to that topic. In Facebook, it's just kind of like one thread and you can't really choose what you want to talk about. But here, this specific thread. So affiliates, we're talking this thread. And the same thing about products, we'll talk in this thread and so on, okay? So make sure you join that. Okay, and um, since you're on this course, I want to offer you guys a 30, tick, 30 day TikTok post challenge. So, I mean like challenge you guys to a 30 day TikTok post. So, so plan out your calendar and commit to at least 30 days to six months of um, building your TikTok channel. As I said, as I showed you, like it, it can be quite lucrative. We've had um, one of our affiliates, you know, earn one hundred fifty thousand dollars in two months. He had a big network already, but as you can see, you can build a big network yourself with TikTok. So, you know, commit it to yourself to six months to to doing this at least once a week, because then you can grow an income. Right, you can grow anywhere from eight thousand to twenty-five thousand dollars per month in six months. If you do half of that, it's still pretty good. Uh, so the last thing to talk about is the lives. How do you do the lives? Well, once you start creating, actually, you can do the lives anytime. You don't even have to wait until you have a following, because how how TikTok treats lives as they treat them as if they're um, as if they are um, just separate videos and they're gonna re recommend your lives to whoever is watching or using TikTok at that time. So even when you're home, you're scrolling through your feed like this, it's gonna pop up a live eventually. Okay, so I'm scrolling my, through my feed and see this one's live right now. <laughs> and then, um, so these lives will pop up wherever you are. So these are lives. And when you do a live, that's exactly what's gonna happen on other people's feeds. Your live will start popping up on other people's feeds and then they might tune into your channel uh, while you're doing a live and follow you because of your live. So you don't have to wait until you have like a thousand followers before you start doing lives. You can even have no videos on your account and only do lives and build your following like that. Some people actually do that. So, um, but I would also schedule in lives um, at least once a week so that you can like in real time engage with your followers or and, and also uh, gather new followers as well. And what you would do in lives is basically just, uh, it could be anything. It's very, very casual, it's very um, informal and there's no script and people just want to hang out with you and people just want to get a feel of what you're doing. They may ask you, you know, what you do and what you do is just talk about what you're doing and just talk about your experiences and why you're on TikTok, what you did that day. It's just a way to connect with people. And during your lives, what I'd like to do is actually create just a flashcard to show the um, the code in the web store address so that they can just see that on the screen. Or you can type it in the description as well on the live. The thing about TikTok though is that they don't record they don't keep your lives on your on your feed. I mean on your uh, um, grid. They don't show up on your grid. But you are able to record it and it and you can use that live. It's another trick, right? You can actually use that recorded live and then post it to all the other platforms like YouTube. You can post it to Instagram or you can or you can chop it up and then make other TikToks with it. So that's what I did last uh, couple of weeks is I did a live TikTok, but I had to record it in high quality because when TikTok records your lives, they, does, they don't record it in high quality. So what I had to do is actually use two phones. I use one phone to record just the video of me doing the live, and then I'll use another phone to use TikTok to do the live, okay? So while I was doing the live, another phone was right next to it recording just a video, and then I'll use the video, the high quality video that's recorded. I send that to my editor, 
and then I just cut it up into many pieces. And then I use that content to make TikTok videos. So you see how you can leverage your time so that you don't have to spend too much time to make a lot of content, okay? So you can even do that, right? So you can pick one day of the week. You've got all these, um, you've got all these ideas, you get all these hashtags and topics that you wanna talk about. Just create like a short outline. And then during your live, you just go through the outline. And keeping in mind that that outline, what are you doing during that live will be later edited into other smaller videos. So that's one other way you can do it. Um, yeah, you can test it out, see how that works out for you. Because then you can hit two birds with one stone. You're doing a live and you're making content for your TikToks. Okay, so now, um, so the 30 day challenge is on. And basically I just want you to see you get your, um, you know, post 30, 30 posts in 30 days. That's the goal. Okay. So whenever you start, um, after you, you do your research, set up your profile, you should set a date that you're going to start posting. And then you should set a set a goal to post 30 posts in 30 days, just as a quick start. Okay. And if you need help, I'm on the discord to answer questions that you have. All right. And so now um, that's it for this course. It basically covers everything you need to know to get started on TikTok and to shortcut and give you tools, give you the templates, give you the tips and uh, scripts and the hooks, everything you need. We're going to email you out those, all those uh, resources after this course, after this. Uh, uh, but now we have time for some Q&A. Okay, Dave Robert has a question. I don't know. I can't find the playlist on my TikTok page. Um, I thought that was really cool, but I can't. How do you get to the playlist? Where is that? Hmm. It's just this button here, this plus button on the left. In oh, the, the plus button. Yeah. You know what? I don't think I have that on my page. Maybe I'm, I don't have enough followers, maybe. Um, I, th I don't think that is a special, how many followers do you have? Oh, you I don't. have um, 1,599. Yeah, you should have it. Maybe you can uh, uh, like update TikTok. Sometimes an older version may not have it, or sometimes some features can come and go depending on the version. I'll look for the plus sign. Thank you. Yeah, but I would update TikTok and it should, um, should update the latest features on there. Yeah, if you can't do the playlist thing, then just do the other ways of doing the call to action. That will still work. You can just add the, the code directly onto the uh, the video screen. So <clears throat> let's say I'm going to make another post here. All right. So I would just uh, add it directly here. So I would just put uh, use code, you know, mm -hmm. a shader or something. Yeah. 10 on shelifestore.com. And you can just make this as a call out directly on the videos, right? So you can do that. Mm -hmm. And then you can add a background. And then let's say you want this to show up at the end of the video, right? So you can go set duration and then you would move this. So you see it only shows up from for the last mm -hmm. 10 seconds there. So I click right. that. So now, now it's on your video like that, you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You move it around. I would put it close to the bottom here. Okay. Um, another, yeah. So, so that's what I would do instead. If you, if you don't have the playlist, this is, this is also actually pretty useful. So then this would be, this wouldn't go on the grid though. This gets stayed saved in like, cause I've got one of these. I've done one of these as well. I guess it's called a story. It's in stories archive. It doesn't show up on my grid. It shows up on. Oh, did you create a story though? Um, I, uh, I'm not too sure actually the difference okay. between these, uh, but one is in the first column, which I, which seems to be like the usual video that gets posted and stays on the grid. Mm -hmm. That's the one that I am having. Yeah. You probably created a story instead of a video. Uh, you just you just have to make the 
uh, select the right one. Wait a second. Oh, someone's asking. So I'm using an iPhone 8. On my, yeah. Hold on a second. <clears throat> okay, so you can see. So these are the two videos I just uploaded. So. Um, oh yeah, that's under the low lock. Okay, yeah. that's where. So that's where I get. So if you add a new post, you can. It says um, here in the bottom. It says it says quick camera quick or templates so if you quick templates yeah so if you upload see instead of clicking post to story you click next i think you clicked post to story so it became a story instead oh okay. so what you do is you click next and then you post instead of that's very subtle. Okay, it's not yeah. like a, for me, that's okay. Okay, so you probably just click the wrong button. So post a story versus next. Yeah. Which is a video that stays on the... On your grid. On your okay. grid, yeah. On the grid, okay. Good to know. Thank you. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, let me look into the playlist thing. Maybe it's not something everybody can do hello from um, Rosslyn she said discord did not download properly retry it once more so I guess discord's not working okay and then Tony said what kind of backgrounds would you recommend okay backgrounds um well I used my background so I just had I bought these extra lights we can look at these lights and you can make them like different white colored or you can make them colors and they're pretty useful because they're small and they last for, for a few hours or you can plug them in uh, with a USB cable and and they go and then go on forever so light backgrounds I, I like using them because it applies to frequencies and things like that um, but you can use any black background any background you can you don't really need to get a green screen because there's a um, filter that actually makes a green screen for you on on TikTok. I have I haven't used it myself, but um, so you can go to a video. Let's say you record a video like this. This is using my selfie camera, and then you go to effects, and you go swipe here to green screen, and then you can use any image in the background. You can even use a screenshot that you have on your phone. Use an ocean like that. You see, it automatically cuts out my background. So you don't actually need a green screen. It does it through the software. So I would experiment with different backgrounds here. There's actually some nice ones here, Tony. There's lots of different effects and green screen effects that you can use, some really weird ones too. Uh, so another trick that you can use is go do trending and here, right, you can do fun things that are very popular, different filters you can do, do videos with, <laughs> some are pretty funny. Um, so, you, you know, there's a lot of things you can play around with, um, with that, but, you know, for business purposes, you can probably just use a green screen and select any graphic and use it as a background. Rosslyn said, I can do this on my computer. Remote area do not receive signal in home. Okay. And then she also said, I have a tech who can download the prompts. It is better on my computer. Okay, yeah, if you use your computer, it's probably better. Um, yeah, you can probably do a lot more fine tuning on your computer rather than editing on the phone. Most people actually edit it off of the phone. Um, just make sure that if you're adding those titles and he headlines, add it with the app with onto TikTok because TikTok likes those head headlines and then they're gonna use those words in the, in the headlines as part of the SEO for that video. Does it make sense? So it, it's gonna give you more ranking 
if you use the uh, uh, the, the the headlines or the titles inside of the app. Oh yeah, I said I was going to review your account. What what's your account day? It's um, my first name Denise, so it's D A I. Yeah. M I C I. Yeah. <clears throat> and the little dash thing. Okay. Yeah. That. All right. So this is you. Okay. Yeah. Oh Lord. Okay. So. Yeah, so I would add two more pins in here. You only have one. And I like your your profile GIF. Uh, you see how she, how she did the profile images like an animation? So that's pretty good. It gets more attention. You got different colors happening there. That's really cool. Um, since you have so many words in here, you could probably make these into text callouts instead throughout your video. You see you have like binaural beats, right? I would add that as a title oh, and, that was just... and I would, yeah, I, you know, I would usually use more tags, like eight tags. Yeah. So I would use more tags and I would use more specific tags, right? Right now, these are a little bit too broad. I would also include some more specific tags. So I, I like how you did nature's harmonics. So if you, you gotta figure out like what keyword you are mainly targeting and then use that in the title and the tags and also in your descriptions. So just more focused. Um, and now you have too many tags here. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't need that many. Yeah. So what I would do here, I would put the call to action on the top instead of saying PMF to your track res. Um, I would put here like uh, to learn more, follow, follow to learn more. Like either that you ask people to follow or you ask people to go to a link or use discount code or something. Um, okay. okay, so yeah, I would use less tags and then I would use make better use of that um, call to action section. And I would um, add some more video, I mean the uh, titles mm -hmm. uh, throughout your, your thing. So maybe you're talking about five things here. You can add the the text. Mm -hmm. Let's say you can PMF therapy. You can add that in the beginning, uh, and I would use a hook in the beginning. Let's say uh, uh, using the scripts that I posted. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, in general, your your lighting is very good. Like this lighting is very good, um, very clear. You got really cool makeup on, and then the the framing is good. So, so you got lots going well for you. Yeah. So I would just make better use of those titles and, and do more research, um, with uh, the way that I showed you, like research the, those top videos and see what keywords and hooks and titles they use and, and try to replicate that more. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Good job, by the way. Uh, if you have other questions, you're probably going to start getting questions while you start doing your 30-day um, challenge or when you start posting. So just make sure you go and get into our Discord and you can ask questions in there. So thanks for joining me on the course and I want to wish you good luck and it's great to have you on board and working with us and partnering with us. So until next time, use the chi and prosper.